I just bought an Apple TV and wanted to set up my iPad and use the AirPlay so that I could use it for making PowerPoint presentations or keynote presentations or showing movies on my iPad onto the overhead digital projector. And I wanted to do it wirelessly. This is how I set it up. When you connect your Apple TV to your monitor, this is what you would see. If you scroll down, you can see all the apps that are available. Is WSJ Live, Flickr, PhotoStream, Radio, with hundreds of stations, Podcast, Vimeo, YouTube videos, trailers of movies, NHL, MLB TV, Netflix, movies that you can buy from iTunes, TV shows that you can buy from iTunes, music, on your computer or on your iPhone or iPad. In computers where you can network using your home sharing and finally the settings. First I would like to set up AirPlay and to do that I have to go to settings, select it. There are a number of options here. There is general, screensaver, iTunes, audio, video, AirPlay. That's what you got to select. Here AirPlay should be on. At this moment it is. You can actually turn it off. But to make it to enable it on your iPad, which is the primary objective of this video, uh, we will leave it on. If you want to set a password, uh, you need to set up an on-screen code and change the off to on. Then you would go and change or create a new password. At this moment, I'm going to leave it without a password since I'm the only one using it at home. Once you've done that, you can go back and get started. Turn on your iPad. Double click on the home button scroll left or right so that you get the airplay option button and select apple tv when that is done this is what this you is your see. ipad screen i'm going to double click the home button then i'm going to scroll to the right now i see the blue airplay button since it has already selected apple tv and mirroring is enabled. What I see on my iPad, I will see on the screen. So once you're done this, you can use your iPad and watch any of the apps that you have on a TV or an overhead projector. There are a couple of uh, interesting aspects here. If you have Keynote, you can actually play the Keynote presentation and it's amazing. I'm going to show you how I do that. Select Keynote. Now these are the presentations that I have. I'm going to select types of reactions. I will scroll down to the first slide and on the top right hand corner I have a play button. I've selected that. So the PowerPoint is starting. All I have to do is swipe my iPad to move to the next slide and the animations work amazingly. And once you're done, you can just move to the next app. This is how you can use your keynote during a presentation or a talk show or a classroom and be connected to the overhead projector wirelessly and you can walk around the room with your iPad. That's one of the amazing things that you can do with Apple TV, a network connection and an iPad or an iPhone. 
Now, one of the other things that I want to show you is it's impossible to play a WME or Windows Media file on an iPad. But you can do that if you have Dropbox. I'm going to show you how I can do that. Here, I already have a couple of files. If you look on the left hand side, you will see there is the first file the, with the extension WMV which tells you that it is a Windows Media file and it's a Windows Media video so I'm going to actually select that and let's select a different one I'll come back to it I'm going to play it mind you Windows Media file does not play natively in on an iPad but using the Dropbox which actually enables it you can play a Windows Media File video on your iPad and you can actually project it there is a 15 minutes limit for streaming at a given time so here goes this is a movie that is a Windows Media File it's not an MP4 it's not a dot movie it's a Windows Media File video so that being said it gives you a lot of flexibility in doing this you don't have to convert any of your videos just to play it on your iPad anymore but you will have to install the Dropbox app download it favorite it so that it will be available offline what I mean by that you can see the star on the left side I'm going to unselect it for a moment so if you look at the top right hand corner there is a star if you select that it becomes a favorite now it is unfavorited touching it once again makes it a favorite it says your video is not playable but you just saw a moment ago I could play it so Dropbox lets you play Windows media file on an iPad that's an amazing thing all the other apps that you have can be used uh, natively one of the interesting apps that I have is Flipboard and if I want to show an article or a video that's available on it and this is an amazing way to do that uh, you just have to walk around with your iPad of course it has to be connected through a network to the internet you can flip around select a document and read it if you wish to so this is something interesting that you can use in your day-to-day -day presentations if you do that frequently one of the other interesting aspects you have other apps for instance in chemistry I have a number of apps which involves three-dimensional molecules I can actually use that I can resize it and I can go around with this molecule on my iPad show it to the students at the same time it's also running a presentation on your digital projector now if you choose to use one of those programs where you can actually write stuff let's start I can I use explain everything if you want to solve a problem you can actually show some calculations on it you would need a stylus for it though so let's go with this so You can actually modify the template, you can use a different format, you can add a new slide.
The interesting thing is you can actually modify this. You can rearrange it, you can reposition it, resize it. All of these can be done. So it's an amazing it is an amazing experience to use the iPad not tied down to a particular position. You can be freely moving around while talking to your guest or your students in a, while you're making a presentation. This is an amazing device which can be used and Apple TV enhances its usability for many of these presentations. That's why I like it. Of course you can use a number of other apps which are available here but right now I just wanted to show you how you can set up AirPlay and then use it for presentations and that's about it for now hope you enjoyed it thank you and have a great day